Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 14th Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about readable streams. Okay, so we saw in the last tutorial how streams and buffers kind of work behind the scenes and in this tutorial I want to show you how we can make our own custom stream in Node.js. Now, there's a couple of different types of streams we can create in Node.js, writable and readable streams. So what's the difference between them? Well, a writable stream allows Node.js to send data or write data to the stream. And a readable stream allows Node.js to read data from the stream. And we can actually create a third type of stream which can do both, write to the stream and read from the stream. And this is called a duplex stream. So you can imagine when we're sending a response to a client from Node.js, we are sending the client some data. So in this instance, we'd be talking about a writable stream because we'd be writing data to the stream that's going to be received by the client, the browser. And vice versa, if Node was receiving data from somewhere, like reading a file or receiving a request, then we'd be talking about a read stream because it would be reading data coming in the stream. So let's take a look at an example. Okay then, so I'm back here in app.js and I've gone ahead and commented out that server we made a couple of tutorials back. I'm keeping it there because we are going to be using it again in a couple of tutorials time. But I've commented it out for now because we're just going to look at creating a read stream in this tutorial. Now I've also created a readme.txt file which is basically a load of junk or lorem ipsum and I've just copied and pasted this off the internet. I've grabbed loads of lorem ipsum and pasted it in there. So this is what we're going to be reading in the readable stream. Okay, so how do we go ahead and create one? Well, first of all, we need to use one of uh, Node.js's core modules, and that is the FS module, the file system module. And we use this module to read a file. And this is kind of like the same thing, but we're doing it in a different way. We're reading it through a stream this time. So let's go ahead and get that module. So we'll say var fs equals require and then fs. So now we can use this. And to create a readable stream, we need to use a method called create read stream. And I'm going to store this in a variable. So I'll say var my read stream. You can call this whatever you want. And I'm setting this equal to fs, then create read stream okay and this is going to create a readable stream for us which we can read data from so what we need to do is specify and tell node.js which file we want to read through the stream so i want to read this one right here so what i'm going to do is use the dir name property on the global object first of all that's going to get me my current directory so this one right here and then i'm going to concatenate that with the file name, so forward slash readme.txt, okay, because it's going to be in this directory. Then we need to do a forward slash after that directory because we're in it, then the file name. So now we're going to go out and create a read stream which is going to read this file. So what's going to happen is we're going to read this a little bit at a time. It's going to go out, find this data then this data is going to be read a small amount at a time through the stream. It's going to fill up the buffer. Then that buffer is going to pass the data on in chunks. Okay, So it's going to essentially split this data up and pass it on in chunks to this variable right there. Okay, So what we can do is we can kind of recognize when we receive one chunk of data. So the first piece that comes back to us. And we can do that because this create read stream inherits from the event emitter. And there's an event called data on this create read stream, which allows us to listen for when we receive any kind of data or any kind of chunk of data from this stream. So we'll go ahead and set up a listener that's going to listen out for that and then fire a function every time we receive something. So let's say, uh, let's say my read stream and then listen for an event, so that's dot on, and then the event is called data. And then we're gonna fire back a function every time we receive some data, and then 
this data is normally called a chunk. Okay, so we read the file, it fills up the buffer, the buffer passes that chunk on, and every time it passes a chunk of data on, it recognizes it because we're listening for that data event and we fire this function. Okay, so now what we could do inside here is console.log new chunk received, and then we could do another console.log and actually log to the console the chunk itself. Okay, so if I save that now and run it in Node, just have to wait for this to load, and I say Node app, then you're going to see here new chunk received, okay? So we've received a chunk and it's fired this uh, function on this event, on this data event. And then again, it does the same thing down here, new chunk received, so it does it twice. So we're getting two different chunks from this file. It split it up into two. And if this file was much larger, then we'd receive maybe 10 chunks or 20 chunks, okay? And every time we receive one, we fire a function and we log that chunk to the console. Now, you see right here, this chunk is just a buffer. It's not the text itself, we're not reading that. And that's because we've not specified right here the character encoding. So we can do that if you want. We can go ahead and say UTF-8, because at the minute, this is just a full buffer that it's sending to us. It's filling up the buffer and it's passing it on. But if we say UTF for the character encoding, then we're gonna receive it as that text that we want. So if I save this now and run it through node again, node app, we're going to see all that text. And I'd have to scroll up a long, long way to see the new chunk received text because there is absolutely tons of this. But if we keep on going and uh, hopefully, <laughs> eventually we will see it. Have faith, guys. There we go. Okay, so new chunk received. And we got all this text. And there will be another one of these messages halfway through somewhere, but I really don't want to waste your time or my time by looking for that. So you just have to take my word for it. There will be two of these chunks received. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're reading the data in chunks via a stream. And every time we receive a chunk of data, we can do something with that. And you can compare this to the other method we used to read a file a few tutorials back, which was called fs.readfile. And what that did was go out and grab the whole piece of data and wait for it all to be stored in memory before it fires a callback function and we get all the data in one big piece. This time we're splitting it up into small pieces. And the benefit is that every time we get a small piece of data here, we can send it on to the user using a writable stream. So we can pass it on to the client that way, a bit at a time, rather than waiting for the whole thing to be read. Okay, make sense? So we're gonna see how we can do that by creating a writable stream in the very next tutorial. Any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise guys, I'll see you in the next one.